the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame. fame, fame. What up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping back in the fishing planet. All right, guys, I'm coming back again from Falcon Lake, and I wanted to show y'all another technique. This is a three ride setup. If you guys have tried to fish with multiple rides before, and maybe it wasn't working out quite like you wanted, I'm gonna show you my technique, and I make a lot of money doing this. Basically, able to fill up a 300 pound keep net in a day. As you see, I already have a hit. Now, what I like to do, I like to use two float rides, uh, two match rides, but you can do this with feeders as well. I'm gonna do, this one is gonna be basically one where it's just set it and forget it. It's basically all auto. I like to use spin rides when I do this, but with this one, as you look, it's jumping already. I wanted to fish and we were gonna fill up the last 30 pounds because I had 300 pounds but it's already cracking. So this one is the method where basically you don't have to do much work. We're gonna use two float rides and a feeder. Now you also could do two feeder rides. I'm gonna do a video on that as well. Oh, I got run out of bait. So you could do two feeder rides, uh, three float rides, three feeders. Now the, look at that, it's cracking. The good thing, and this is nighttime as well, you see it's 1.30 in the morning. So this is also how you can earn in a good spot at night. Now the good thing about, I like floats, I feel like they hit more and you can adjust the depth of the line. Feeders are great though, because you just can listen to the bell. You wait for the bell, you don't have to watch the float go up and down. For a person like me who I'm always working, even when I'm playing, I might have a video up editing on my other computer or I have something on another screen, I'm, I'm typing, I'm posting while I'm waiting. The feeder is great because I have to keep looking back, but this works well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the bait I'm using. Let's take a look and let's look at the spot. So you of course wanna go with the peak times, right? You always wanna go with the peak times, but these techniques will work all through the day and all through the night. Float fishing and feeder fishing works better at night for me. Although float and feeder will work during the day. I get more hits on my spin fishing during the day, but that works as well. So check out that last video where you'll see me using two floats and a spin rod. You can see some good spin rod techniques, all right? I'm using the Nero 10 foot 10 inch. That's a five to 11 pound, depending on what reel you use. Your reel will let you know what weight it is. I'm using the Aspira MLR 3000. That's an 11 pound rod. And I use hook number two. Now, number one would work, one odd, two odd. Uh, but the bigger you go up with the eye, the less fish you'll probably catch. Now, if we look at my keep net, I have made 22,000 and that's with 300. I'm almost at 330. So it usually gets up about 24 to 28,000, depending on the fish. The other rod I use is my Phoenix 14 10 inch. It's a five to 22 and I have a 19 pound reel. So you can get up to a 22 pound reel on it. Now this one is great because it reels the fish in a lot faster. I would recommend not going below a 10 pound reel if you can, a 10 pound setup. You can get by with a five pound setup. The biggest fish you will catch here is a trophy that's about seven pounds, almost eight pounds. That's gonna fight a little bit on a lesser ride. It gives you a little bit of fight on a 10 pound ride, but it'll reel in. Once you get above 10, it's gonna reel in a lot quicker. So if you had three 20 pound rides, that would be the best. I have a 20 pound match ride, you know, with a float. I have a 20 pound feeder and I have a 20 pound spinner. So if I did all three of those, I could reel them in fast. So just Use the biggest rods you have available. Now my feeder rod is the Big Ali 14 to 10 inch. It's a six and a half to 19 and a half. So basically a seven to 20. And then I have the Big River 6500, which is a 19 pound. So this will pull them in really quick as well. So this is the feeder that I'm going to use. Now we're going to the shop. The bait you wanna use is fresh bait. Now you can use insects and worms. These mayflies work well. I actually get those, they're a good price and you get 25. Those work better during the day though. I don't get as many hits at night. The other one you wanna to go to fresh bait. You wanna do small minnows or artificial salmon eggs. Now I've been using these artificial salmon eggs. One, because you get 25 for 450 where you only get 10 with the small minnows. And they seem to just work really well. These natural eggs work well too, uh, better than the artificial, but they cost 750. The spot that we're at is the Mountain Watcher. This is my favorite spot. So now that everything is in its place, let's jump back in. So you wanna stay in this area right here. I like to throw to the middle with the feeder. You can sit the feeder down. I always put the feeder on the stand because you can hear it. 
and then I'm about to throw this a look. We already got a hit. Now my line is anywhere from 40, my line is anywhere from 20 to 40 inches. I have this one set at 20, but with your match rod, set it from anywhere from 20 to 40. Uh, you can go up and down and you'll see the difference. Let's see what we got here. Bam, we got a cutthroat. So this line is at 30. Sometimes I set one at 20, one at 40, and you'll get the range in between. Look, the line is going off, so bam. We're gonna throw this here with salmon eggs. Put this one down. I wanted to pull out this rod. Well, I actually wanted to cast it, but we might miss the, uh, the bite. So let's go ahead and get this one. Bam. Now look how quickly this joint is reeling in. Bam, four pounder, 265. All right, so let's go on and throw this one back here. And again, anywhere in between this rock and this wood, uh, these logs and these broken down trees over there. So let's sit those here. And let's go to my other float. This one is the one that's set at 40. I like to do the one at 40. I like to cast the one that's at 40 over here and the one that's 20 to 30 over here. It really doesn't matter, but I get really good activity that way. Now you wanna keep one of your match rods in your hand. If you have three feeders, then of course one feeder is gonna be in your hand. If you have three matches, then of course one's gonna be in your hand. I do the spin. If you do two feeders and a spin or two matches and a spin, the spin is of course gonna be in your hand while you sit and watch the others. Now one thing I like to do, I like to spin honestly. I usually don't do this technique uh, with all three. I'll do two and then I usually spin because you actually catch more unique spin fishing, at least in my experience. You will catch some float or feed of fishing, but in my experience, I catch the majority of my trophies and my unique spin fishing. All right, bam. And I felt the rod I have in my hand going too. Look at that, all right, okay, okay. Let's set this one. Now this is the weaker of the rides. You want to, if you have two fish on at the same time, it's okay to just set the hook. Ah, the fish got away, dog on it, that's crap. But you want to grab the one that's the heavier. This is the 20 pounder, because I can reel this one in much quicker. You see how quick I got that one out the water? So you wanna get that one out the water first. Then you wanna go back to the other one. Ah, uh, snap. And then you want to try to hurry up and cast. Cast it out before you pull the other one, unless the fish has already been biting for a second, because you don't want to lose it. You don't want it to time out. So yeah, bam, check this out. Check this out. Bam, look at that. Another three and a half pounder. Let's go on and get this back in the water. Hey man, this is a great way to make money. So again, I'm gonna knock out this 30 pounds in probably 10 minutes maybe. And uh, with spinning as well, spinning works, but I'm not gonna show you that in this video. We'll just do that in another video. So again, you check it out. It should be one I already released as of the release of this video, but just in case it hasn't, it will be coming out soon. So bam, I'm gonna throw my other float over here. And look at that, the feeders are already gone. These artificial salmon eggs work really well. And the rod I just sat down, I felt it vibrating when I set it down. Another tip I have, use a controller because you can feel the vibration with the controller. Um, you feel a little bit of activity, I believe, with the mouse or, or if you have a mouse that uh, has some type of feedback. But the controller, you'll always feel that rumble. Look at that, bam. That one's already going. I mean, we are literally going to <laughs> We gonna knock this joint out real quick. Again, this last 30 to fill this net up and then we'll see what our total was. And y'all remember I lost the fish. I was slanging it so much, I lost the fish. Look at that, we have another bite. We have another bite. Crazy, right? And guys, if this helps you, make sure you like, hit that like button for me, guys. Hit me in the comment box. Give me feedback, give me feedback. Let me know what you use. Let me know what ride types or what uh, setups you use. Do you prefer three feeder rides? You know, there have been times that I've liked using all feeder rides. I can listen to the bell if you have three. Or do you prefer two feeder rides? And also, you know, apply this to how many ride stands you have. If you have a ride stand where you only can hold one, you would only do one. If you have two, if you have three, 
you have a ride stand that holds three and you want to try to juggle four rides, hey, knock yourself out. Knock yourself out, pimping. Look at that. We got another hit. I mean, literally, before we can about put the other ride down, they are jumping onto the hook, okay? Crazy. And again, the stronger the ride you have, the easier it will come out. I'm at a level where I don't really care as much about the XP. Um, so that you do take a hit when the ride is too heavy for the lake and the type of fish that you're catching But I, I don't really care at this point. I'm just really trying to get the money so I can go to the lakes that I want to fish So again, you stay here all day You do good money check out my other videos you do good money during the day And then you also can do good money at night with this system. I like spinning during the day uh, definitely catch more trophies and uniques Look at that. We've already almost hit that 30. <laughs> wow. We've already almost hit the 30 pounds. And it's only been about 15 minutes. And, you know, part of that in the beginning was we talk, us talking about the setup, uh, where we're fishing and things of that nature. So, yeah, we're almost full already. And it was only at 1. What was it like? 1.30 a.m.? So, in 30 minutes of game time, 30 pounds already. That's crazy, right? We only one away. I may try to release some of those small fish. Bam. Here's the last one. Let's let this one be a, a trophy. Let's let this one be a trophy. And I've caught 500. Is it at this lake? I've caught 500 trophies. Or it might be 500 trophy trout in general. Look at that. Look at that. Both of these joints. Oh, okay, I thought both of them were going down. I couldn't see the red one. But we're going to see what this one is as well. We've already filled our net. But we're going to see if we can potentially release some of the smaller fish. I basically slung that fish we lost off of there. All right. So what we want to do, let's check out our keep net. We are, let's see, 31. We're only one. We're almost two over. So let's see. Let's see. We're almost two over 160. We'll get rid of this young. And... I'm trying to find some of those really small. Okay, yeah, like these red. Those actually have a decent price per weight. Okay, we're under. Good. We're under. So let's go ahead and keep that. Bam. And I think that's it. I think we're going to go ahead and cash in. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one up before it gets a hit. And we're going to cash out and see what we get. We're going to go to that next day. All right. Come on in. Come on in, Rod. Come on in. And let's take a quick look at what we done did. Yeah, fireworks, baby. <laughs> That's what I got from that 4th of July thing that I never used. All right, cool. So let's look at the total weight real quick. 24,782. Filling up this 330 keep net. And again, a lot of these are little guys. Let me show you the biggest joints that I caught. Trophy brown trout. 7.6 trophy brown trout seven unique rainbow 6.6 .6. more trophies trophy trout trophy rainbows six five five four and then i got a lot of four five so you'll catch up to about eight pounds uh but you're mainly gonna catch your trophies gonna be in that six to four range that's gonna be the bulk of your trophies and then the most of the fish you'll catch will be about the four uh, to three pound brown trout and these trophy rainbows as well. But mainly browns are going to be your biggest at this lake. All right. So let's go on back in. Let's jump back in and let's go on and fast forward to the next day. Hit that next morning. Bam. All right. Where my money at? I want to see how much money I got. I'm going to go ahead and extend it because I'm going to stay here and fill this up one more time because I want to buy a kayak. Bam, 24. Let's let's see all this money just sitting together. Let's see how it looks sitting together. Let's look at that money. 52 thou wow. Bam. So hit that like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are not subscribed, guys. Share this so others can check this out. Okay. So we're gonna get on up out of here, guys. Again, let me know if this helps you. Like, subscribe, share. You know what to do. And we'll be back in another one with another hot spot feed. Charles Macro, Fishing Planet. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holler at you. Peace.
So guys, before we go, I wanted to thank you one more time for supporting Charles Macro and the Macro Elite. You are elevating your logic, your intellect, and your thinking every day. Now, if you want to support, there are other ways that you can do so. So check out this little promo, and it'll tell you some ways that you can truly be down. And thank you once again. And for you guys that want to support further, go to charlesmacro.com slash shop. There you can buy t-shirts, you can buy other merch like coffee mugs, onesies, bargains, caps. You also can support by buying and checking out my music. I have the I Run The Game album that is out on all the digital retailers, the iTunes, the Spotify's. And in fact, if you're on Spotify, go on there, I Run The Game, the album, Charles Macro Music. Look that up and add me to a playlist, all right? That will help me get up on the charts as well and earn money off that music if you're feeling it like you're feeling the intro, okay? And go subscribe to the new Charles Macro Music channel, all right? You also can hit my Amazon affiliate links down below. You don't have to buy any of those products. Just click the link, then buy whatever you were planning to buy. That helps me get a little love, okay? Then we have Patreon, Cash App, YouTube membership program. I'm gonna be getting subscribe stars soon if you wanna support that way. Of course, I'm on IG, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, any of those social medias you wanna follow me on, see some other things, some pictures, some, some regular life stuff, my photography business, uh, video, go on, on there, follow, like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys once again just for the support. Charles Macro. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.